before proceeding to simplifying rational expressions, so let's uh, first uh, review in how to simplify fractions. Okay, so for example, you are asked to simplify uh, 2 over 4. So uh, we need to get the prime factor of 2 and 4. So the prime factor of 2 is 2. Okay, 2 times 1. Next one, the prime factor of 4 is 2 times 2. Okay, ito na lang gamitin natin. So, 2 times 1, the prime factor of 2, and the prime factor of 4 is 2 times 2. And then, we need to cancel out the common factor, which is 2 and 2. So, ang natira is si 1 half. Okay, so once you are asked to simplify 2 over 4, the answer is 1 half. How about si 12 over 36 okay so we need to again we need to get the prime factor of 12 and 36 so the prime factor of 12 we have here a uh, 2 times uh, 2 times 2 times 3 over uh, 2 times 2 times 3 times uh, 3 Okay. Okay, so we are done. So ibig sabihin after that one we will consult out the common factor which is si 2 and 2, 2 and 2 and si 3 and 3. Ibig sabihin ang natira is uh, the denominator which is si uh, 3 and ilagyan natin ng 1 dito sa taas. Okay, 1 over 3. Ibig sabihin the pra, uh, the Simplified form of 12 over 36 is 1 third. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. So, how about a, 6, a to the power of 6 over a squared? So, what we're going to do is to factor out a to the power of 6. Ibig sabihin a times a times a times a times a times a. Next one, we have here a squared, we have a times a. And then, cancel out the common factor, which is a and a. So, ang natira is apat na a, ibig sabihin a to the power of 4 over 1 or a to the power of 4. So, once you are asked to simplify a to the power of 6 and a to over a to the power of 2, we have here a to the power of 4. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. So, one more thing. Once, uh, ilagay natin, we need to remember that once uh, we divide uh, the variable, we need to subtract its exponent. So, uh, pwede na yung, uh, hindi na natin kunin si uh, prime factor of each variable. So, isubtract lang natin na 6 minus 2, we have here 4. So, copy the variable A and uh, lagay, lagay natin si 4. So, a to the power of 4. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, good day students. So, today we will discuss about simplifying rational expressions. But before we will deepen our understanding about uh, simplifying rational expressions, let's define first what is a rational expression. Okay? It is a ratio of either monomials and polynomials or monomial and polynomials. That is rational uh, expression. It should be remembered that a rational expression does not possess a zero denominator or a value of any variable that will make the denominator equal to zero. So, bakit hindi... Um, dapat magiging zero ang denominator. It's because it will result to uh, being an undefined terms. Okay, undefined it means uh, zero yung denominator. Okay, so before we will proceed to simplifying rational expressions, you need to make sure that you are already familiar with uh, factoring. Uh, the first one is factoring common monomial or the common monomial factoring the factoring a perfect square trinomial factoring a difference of two squares factoring a sum and a difference of two cubes and factoring a general 
trinomial or factoring general trinomial so dapat uh, you need to familiarize those uh, you need to familiarize those uh, factoring in order for us to proceed to sa rational expressions dahil kung hindi nyo familiar familiar yung or hindi kayo familiar sa factoring you cannot uh, simplify a rational expression so, okay so let's have first our example okay for example you are asked to uh, simplify 3x squared over 9x so it is a rational expression so we need to uh, simplify this one okay what are we going to do is uh, factor both the numerator the factor both the numerator and the denominator and then uh, divide the numerator and the denominator by their common factor so before uh, dividing or before simplifying you need to we need to factor out each numerator and denominator so ibig sabihin uh, we will first factor out the uh, numerator, si 3x squared. Atin siyang i-factor, okay. Uh, ibig sabihin, we, it will become 3 times x times x. It's because x squared, it means um, dalawang x. Next one, we have here 9x, okay. The prime factor of 9 is 3 times 3 and then copy the variable x okay so after that one uh, we will cancel out or we will divide their common factor okay so let's have first the number okay so meron 3 dito so 3 divided by 3 so cancel out yan siya and next one wala nang kapartner si 3 so therefore uh Diyan na natin ilagay. And then, si x. So, cancel out. So, ang natira is si x over 3. So, ibig sabihin, when we are asked to simplify uh, 3x squared over 9x, or our final answer is uh, x over 3. So, it is the simplified form of 3x squared over 9x. Okay? So, let's have here our second example. So, for example, you are going to uh, simplify 4x squared over uh, 6x squared. So what are you going to do first is to uh, factor out first the numerator and the denominator. So, we need to factor out first the uh, numerator which is 4x squared. Okay, the prime factor of 4 is 2 times 2. Next one, the prime factor of x squared we have x times x over uh, the prime factor of 6 we have here 2 times 3 next one the prime factor of x squared is x times x what we're going to do is to cancel out or to divide the common factor okay the common factor of 4x squared and 6x squared so we have here 2 over 2 so cancel out next one we have here x over x and x over x so sino lang yung natira we have here 2 over 3. So, our final answer is 2 over 3. So, when you are asked to simplify 4x squared over 6x squared, we have here the 2 over 3. Or the simplified form of 4x squared over 6x squared is 2 over 3. So, it is very simple. But how about when we are uh, going to deal uh, those uh, co complex uh, polynomials in rational expression? So, Okay, so let's have here our third example. So as he observed, uh, mayroong 3x dito and mayroon ding 3x dito. But, uh, teacher Kim, madali lang man yan siya. It's because uh, you will cancel only the 3x and 3x. Okay, take note that when we are dealing polynomial, so uh, dapat we need to follow the steps first before proceeding to canceling the common factor. So, we need to follow the steps. So, what are those steps? We need to factor out the numerator and the denominator. Okay? So, first, we will factor out we will factor out um, the numerator. Okay? What is the numerator? We have here 3 
and x so since 3 is uh, a prime number so we can write directly as 3 and as well as x then over okay 3x plus 3 so we can apply uh, the formula of factoring polynomials uh, using the common monomial factor okay let's have here uh, first uh, what is the common monomial factor of 3x plus 3 so we need to uh, use uh, okay 3x plus 3 okay let's have first the number so the common monomial or the gcf of 3 and 3 we have here 3 how about cx okay the question is cx ba is meron ba sa kabila wala so therefore 3 is our common monomial factor and we need to divide 3x divided by 3 we have here x copy the sign plus and 3 divided by 3 we have here 1 so uh, the factored form of 3x plus 3 is 3 times x plus 1 so we will write 3 times x plus 1 uh, below sa 3 times x so 3 times x plus 1 so after that one we will cancel out the common factor okay take note common factor hindi common terms hindi yung uh, x and x no the common factor not the common uh, terms okay so ibig sabihin si 3 and 3 cancelled out okay since x plus 1 is a binomial and x is a monomial okay so we cannot uh, factor out uh, x and x plus 1 so ibig sabihin our final answer is x over x plus 1 so, when you are asked to simplify, uh, to simplify 3x over 3x plus 3, the answer is x over x plus 1. Okay, is it clear? Okay, very good. So, let's have, three, let's have here the fourth example. So, the fourth example we have here, a cube uh, plus a squared over a squared. So, uh, sabi ko kanina, uh, dapat uh, we need to follow first the steps before canceling out the common factor, okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, we will factor out a cube plus a squared, okay? Since uh, the common, the GCF of a cube and a squared is si a squared. Since, um... Since uh, si a squared yung may maliit na exponent. So, after that one, we will divide a cubed to a squared. We have here a cubed divided by a squared. We have here a. Next one, copy the sign plus. Next is a squared divided by a squared is 1. Okay, so ibig sabihin 1 yan siya. Therefore, a squared times a plus 1 ang factored form ni a cubed plus a squared. So, after that one, ilagay natin si a squared. Teacher Kim, hindi na natin ipafactored si a squared. Okay, pwede na. It's because meron na siyang kapartner. So, therefore, we will cancel canceled out a squared and a squared. So, our final answer when we are asked to simplify a cubed plus a squared over a squared is a plus 1 over 1 or a plus 1. So, is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have here our uh, fifth example. So, we have here x minus 3 over x squared minus 9. Okay, in order for us to get the simplified form of x minus 3 over x squared minus 9, we will follow the steps. Okay, so we will first uh, factor out the numerator, si x minus 3. Okay, since hindi na mafafactor si x minus 3, we will only copy x, okay, x minus 3 over, okay, x 
squared minus 9 is part of factoring a difference of two squares. So, we will follow the formula of factoring a difference of two squares. So, what is the uh, formula of factoring a difference of two squares? We need to create two parentheses and put plus and minus. Okay, after that one, we will square root each term. So, square root of x squared Okay, square root of x squared, we have x. Then, square root of 9, okay? Square root of 9 is 3. So, ibig sabihin si x is ilagay natin sa first dito, and si 3 ilagay natin dito. So, x plus 3 and x minus 3. Okay, is it clear? Okay. If you are not yet familiar, so you can go back sa uh, video about factoring a difference of two squares. So again, you need to familiarize all the topics that are related in factoring. Okay? So after that one, we will cancel out the common factor. Okay, what is the common factor of um, dito sa result? We have here x minus 3 and x minus so, ibig sabihin, we will cancel out the common factor. So, sino lang yung natira? Si x plus 3 which is uh, nandito sa denominator. So, ibig sabihin, lagyan natin ng 1 dito sa itaas then over x plus 3. So, our final answer is 1 over x plus 3. So, once you are asked to simplify x minus 3 over x squared minus 9, the answer is 1 over x plus 3. Okay, are we clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's go now sa ating last example or the sixth example. Okay, so what if you are asked to simplify x plus 5 over x squared plus 10x plus 25? Okay, so as you observe, it is a perfect square, a trinomial. Okay, and it is a, okay, x plus 5, so we can it factored out x plus 5. So, ilagay lang natin na x plus 5 over, so x squared plus 10x plus 25, the formula is, we need to square root the, uh, we need to square root the first term and the last term. So, square root of x squared and square root of 25. Ibig sabihin, square root of x squared, we have here x. And square root of 25, we have here 5. So, we will need to create uh, two parentheses. Okay, since uh, positive yung sign, positive ang ilalagay natin dito. Itong dalawa. So, we will write x plus 5 and x plus 5 dito. So, uh, the factored form of x squared plus 10x plus 25 is x plus 5 times x plus 5. So, after that one, we will cancel out the common factor. Okay, since isa lang si x plus 5, uh, mamili ka lang kung sino yung ikakancel ninyo. So, same lang yan siya. So, x plus 5 and x plus 5 cancelled out. Natira si x plus 5 dito. So, ibig sabihin, our final answer is 1 over x plus 5. So, when you are asked to simplify x plus 5 over x squared plus 10x plus 25, our answer is 1 over x plus 5. Okay, clear ba? Okay, very good. Okay.